Hi everybody, it is Thursday, September 28th, and it is time for lunch with Lori. I apologize for the time change today. Um, I had class here this morning and I had to scurry around and get my table set up um, to get everything moved. So let me get my computer set up here. Hopefully my video will come up on my, my laptop so I can see who's watching. Here we go. There we go, sorry about the delay there. All right, today I am going to feature two different bundles and I'm going to talk about each of them just a little bit. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you about Card Club today and my Cards the Edge Cards Card Club and what happens during that club. Um, most of my ladies are local here in St. Louis um, but we have ladies who are not local who get their packets shipped to them. And here's how club works. Let me show you a packet. <coughs> this is what my ladies received this month. Hold on to these. We're going to look at these in just a minute. But each month, my card... Card Club ladies receive a goodie bag. And in that goodie bag, each month is something different. This month was supposed to have been, September was supposed to have been the Autumn Leaves Bundle, and that unfortunately was on back order. All the pieces were gone. There was no way that I was gonna have the paper. And that's the most pretty part, is the Autumn Leaves Designer Series paper. So I had to make a quick switch um, at order time and so I chose this month to give my ladies a packet of the Shining Christmas DSP which is so pretty and I'm going to show you a couple of samples from that in just a minute and then also another online exclusive paper the Tartan Plaid and I'm going to show you this as well in just a minute. I've, I have three samples from this one to show you and I think you're really going to like it today. Um, usually there's an embellishment, um, but since I was using different kinds of um, designer series paper today as the embellishment of sorts for this month, they got the gold and silver adhesive sheets. So they got an entire package of that. Um, normally in, in the card packet, they get, you can either come local and come to my door and make eight cards each month. There's the supplies to make eight cards. And we, um, you would come in and there's the packet and all the pieces are cut. Um, if there's a die cut that needs to be done, that is cut as well. Um, if there's a small piece of ribbon, that's, that's cut and in your packet for you. So every month, oh, this one had a Lost Lagoon ribbon. Um, the packet is ready and the, everyone comes in. They use the components of their goodie bag to make um, to make that month's projects. This month, like I said, was a little different. Normally there's a ribbon and embellishment, all kinds of pretties. Um, and so uh, some of the components for this month, I used um, something that the card club members have gotten in the past. So this month I added the um, in color gems to this card. Um, so this paper is, video signal is gone. All right, it, it, sorry about that, that was very strange. Copper clay um, is this color and it comes in three different colors and pattern, oh, two patterns. There's the white with the copper clay in the plaid and then there's the shiny copper clay that has, so that's the front and the back. Um, the Lost Lagoon is also very beautiful. It's Lost Lagoon on one side and then white with Lost Lagoon checks on the back and then the one that I used in my class today is actually the pedal pebbled path whoa I just almost dumped my whole packet of paper pebbled path which is really pretty um, pebbled path on the front and back this is one of the online exclusives and that whole package of paper has six pieces of paper in it and it is ten dollars for the shiny paper um, and I have sold quite a few of those because those are so pretty. Um, if you really like these when I'm done, make sure that you run and don't walk to the 
to online ordering because these are only available while supplies last. Before I make the actual card, I'll show you the birthday card that we made in my class this morning. We used the Pebbled Path Tartan Plaid along with the new Curved Occasions um, <clears throat> stamp set. I didn't actually use the bundle, just the stamp set. And we made, we made a birthday card. Um, so that's the Pebbled Path. Let me show you my real card club. So this was my card club card and we featured the heartfelt hexagon bundle which is super fun and it is a new release. It's going to be in the new spring mini catalog that starts in January and Stampin' Up! released it early for World Card Making Day which is October 7th. If you're on my email list you will have gotten an email that I'm I have an event on Friday October 6th which will feature this bundle um, if you're not on my email list make sure that you um, grab that post on my Facebook page and sign up for that so you don't miss anything because all of my almost all of my classes are available to go and they will ship direct to your door so let's get started on this card we are going to Get my extra pieces out of the way and I chose the copper clay one to make since it was a last-minute decision and my ladies had already signed up for their add-ons for October or for September I'm ahead of myself here I didn't want to add a color of ink that they didn't have I want to make sure that everyone can be successful making the cards that we make so I actually um, chose the copper clay so that they they used that copper clay ink a couple of months ago. So everybody should already have that. All right, so we're going to stamp. This stamp set comes with two outline stamps and this one's just a delicate little dot that goes around the outside. All right, so it looks like that. And then we're going to come back in and put the words right in the middle. When I pull it up, I can't see, so I have to bring it back to be a stamp. I'm really sorry. All right, so there's, it's two, two pieces. And one, like I said, is the dot. And then there's another one, and I will show you that one in just a minute as the second, um, as my second card for today. We're going to make three. Right, and then the punch, the heartfelt hexagon punch is a rounded edge, kind of very nice, nice punch. You could put any kind of words in here. All right, so I have the words. Those are ready to go, and then we can just assemble the card. <clears throat> I apologize. I still have this weird, weird frog in my throat. All right. Fold our card. Actually, let me see. I might do this one the opposite just to see what it looks like. If there's anybody watching, if you have an opinion, let me know what you think. I think actually I like the lighter piece on the outside, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use liquid glue today because that is what I have on my table. If you use the multi-purpose glue you don't need a whole ton of it so you don't want your projects to be wet and sloppy okay. all right so we got the, the bottom plan and then we'll put this plaid piece on the smaller panel of copper clay Cards like this, it is so easy to just let the card or the, the designer series paper speak for itself. It is so pretty that it can just stand alone. And I have to, sorry, my tape, everything got moved because of my class and I had to put my table back together. All right, normally I have all of this on this table. All right. So just this piece of copper clay ribbon. I'm gonna wrap around to the back. 
just use a little piece of scotch tape to tape that down. <clears throat> Wrap it around like this. Oop, I went too far, so that's easily removable and scoot overable. Everybody makes mistakes, right? There we go. Wrap it around. And then another piece of scotch tape on the back. You can also use glue or adhesive. Um, I just find that scotch tape works better and then I can move it if I need to. I'm gonna put our sediment piece on dimensionals. Just a couple of those to hold that up. If it goes flat, it won't stay. Put that right in the middle. And actually, I knew better than that. I should have put one, I should have done my dimensionals on the top and the bottom because on the ribbon, it's gonna be loose. So lessons learned from Lori today. All right, let's try this again. All right, so sending you lots of hugs and love and I'm gonna pop up this piece as well. So dimensionals there. How was everybody today? It is Thursday, it is almost the weekend. Super excited. I'm going to Kansas City this weekend for a demonstrator event, and I actually get to have things made for me, ready for me, and I don't have to have everything prepped for everyone. All right, so this one, I'm gonna leave without the gems because I don't have the gems. Actually, my ladies ran, used all of them the other night, but I used the copper clay, um, in color gems for this one and this you could easily use rhinestones and color them with a copper clay blend you could use um, whatever blends or whatever gems that you have in your stash um, so that was the first card that my ladies made for card club this month then the second one also used the tartan plaid paper we make four projects every month and we um, we used we made two projects with the tartan plaid and two with the shining Christmas. All right, so here are my pieces for this one. I actually have to cut for this one. It's gonna be a fun fold. It looks like this. All right, but I have to cut my DSP so that it fits. I didn't wanna put the extra separate pieces in my envelope. So this paper is four by five, and I need it to be four by four. So we're just gonna cut one inch. And it doesn't matter which end that you cut off. Um, if you had a floral pattern that you wanted to match the pieces, or you had a geometric pattern that you wanted to match the pieces, you would want to um, take off the right end so that, so that it matches from here to here. Um, but since this is gonna be flipped over, it doesn't necessarily matter. All right. All right, so you have your two pieces of designer series paper. This one, will go on the big side. And it'll go right here. So there's the front panel. And then this is cut an inch and a half in so that this one inch strip will actually have a little border around the outside. You could also do, I, I did mine flip, flipped over. You could also do it the same pattern. It's entirely up to you. Maybe I'll do the same pattern on this one just so you can see the difference. But that's the beauty of the designer series paper. It all coordinates so you can mix and match your patterns and it should be should be okay as long as the colors are the same. All right, so this one I did with the solids and this one I did with the mix and match. So if you have a vote which one you like better, let me know in the comments and I will take note of that. All right, so this one, I'm going to use the other the other outline and the other outline is a little different than the first one. The first one was just a single 
delicate dot around the outside. This one actually has lines and dots. There's two lines with dots in the middle. And then we'll put the sympathy. I find it's easier to put the border on first and then put your words in the middle, but it's entirely up to you. All right, with sympathy. And then I just punch that out. When you use the designer series paper as the focal point, it just helps with, um, it makes making a simple card easy because, which sounds a little strange, making a simple thing easy, but it, when it's the star of the show, you don't have to put a whole bunch of things on it to make it pretty. And then for my Lost Lagoon ribbon, which if you don't have any of this, it is super soft and it is really pretty as well. I'm gonna just tape that on the back. Um, as we've talked about before, I'm not a bow tire. I'm not a very good bow tire. I can tie a bow, it's just not very pretty. Uh, my friend Sarah, I tied a bow not too long ago and she undid it after it was already on the card that I made because it was upside down. So I'm just not a very good bow maker and I'm okay with that. All right, so just tape it on the back like that and then put dimensionals right on there. This one doesn't matter whether the dimensionals are top and bottom or on the sides because it's not sticking there. All right, and I thought it needed a little something, so I brought out my brushed brass butterflies, and I'm gonna, I don't have my take your pick tool. A little disorganized, because my ladies left a little after 12, and I had to get my table up and reset it and move it over by the window, and so I'm just a little bit discombobulated today. And then, we have a white piece. I guess I should have put that on the inside too because darker colors, I usually put in a white panel on the inside so that you have a place to write and they can read it. Um, I have noticed, especially with, and I, I am one of those people now, and that older people have trouble reading when things are dark. So you might keep that in mind if you're sending your cards to older, older folks who can't see as well. All right, and there you have it. So that's the card, second card that my ladies made um, for Card Club this month. All right, now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and I'm gonna show you Christmas. And we're gonna see the, the Shining Christmas paper and this is truly my favorite paper that we've had in a while, actually. We made two projects on Friday with the, or Monday, I guess, with these, but we're only gonna make one today just for the sake of time. Um, but the holly leaves, one side of all the pieces of paper has a shiny component. So there's the holly leaves, which have the shiny berry. I'm not sure how well you can, the camera will pick that up. Um, so there's that, but on the back is just cherry cobbler polka dots. Um, so that's that one. Um, the other one that we're gonna use today is the packages and all of the ribbons have the red, sparkly red, red ribbon on there. And the back of that is just a fun, little geometric, old, old fashioned looking pattern. We have candy canes with shiny candy canes and then X's. Um, the backs of these pages could be used for non-Christmas. Um, we have Christmas trees. Have just a, a red cherry cobbler ornaments, which could be on its own, or there's the, um, is it Harlequin pattern? I believe it's called the Harlequin pattern. Um, this pattern actually matches the Merry and Bright lights. We have that, so you could easily coordinate that if you didn't like all those bright colors in the Merry and Bright um, with fun striped patterns. It's all the red that is shiny. Um, the green stripes are not, are not shiny. Oh, there's my ornaments again. I have a couple packages together because I've used some. Oh, I think that's it. So it comes with 12, 12 pieces. And since it is the shiny paper, it is um, 
instead of the usual $12.50, but it is so worth it. All right, so for this card, we're gonna have, we're just gonna, again, let the designer series paper do the talking. It can be the star of the show. Um, my pieces are cut. I've already cut a stylish shapes circle. So that is ready. Hopefully I get that, get that stamped correctly because I did not bring more than one. All right, so I have my white card base. Usually when I do thick white, I score it so that it folds nicely. Thick white, thick vanilla, um, I always score those. And then if you have a card that is cut, if, you're, if your card base is cut four and a quarter by 11, sometimes those don't fold as nicely, so I try to score those as well. Um, and it is the, if you don't have a scoring scoreboard, that's okay. There is a scoring tool right on your paper trimmer and it is the lighter color. Um, I tell my, my ladies that the scoring blade is the lighter color, so it pushes lighter and the cutting blade is a darker shade, a deeper shade of brown and it cuts deeper. So just keep that in mind. Scoring is lighter, cutting is darker. Hopefully that will, will help you remember that. All right, get the, the designer series paper on this panel. The panel's cherry cobbler, so it's super simple. You either need cherry cobbler or mossy meadow ink, um, or a, a black would work as well if you have a black, um, a black pad and you don't have cherry cobbler or, or mossy meadow. Okay, right. there's that part. I'm gonna go ahead, actually I'm not gonna go ahead and put on that because I almost forgot my ribbon. All right, we're gonna stamp deck the halls on our, on our stylish shapes circle. Deck the halls. Now comes the ribbon part. Everybody be ready, be ready. Lori's tying ribbon. This is the glittered organdy and it kind of takes on whatever color of the project that's underneath it. So even though it's not a green or a red, those little flecks of sparkle kind of take on a green tint when you put them um, on, your, on this paper. So you're just going to tie a ribbon around the panel. You'll notice I have a band-aid on my left hand and that's a paper trimmer accident. My blade flew off the other day and when I picked it up I cut my finger. So I apologize for the band-aid view. I told my husband that I needed workman's comp and he did not really go for that. So here we are. All right so there's my bow. Not be easily be a knot if you're not a bow tire make the knot it's totally fine pretty sure Sarah would turn this one over so that's wrapped around because it is sort of upside down all right then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of my sentiment piece on the deck the deck the halls and put that right on the panel And I also put this panel up on dimensionals. I think just dim dimensionals just adds a little bit of oomph as you raise your panels. It's not all flat and it gives a little bit of depth to your projects. And who doesn't love sparkle and bling and layers on your cards? All right, so then this panel will go right on the card front. Oop. I have to move it so I can actually see. Huh. All right, let's see this one. All right, All right. so got that one. Now, the other thing that I'm going to show you is how to color gems. 
And on my first card, or my other card that I haven't shown you yet, actually, I'm not going to make it, but I am going to show you. We did a fractured card, and I this one is a little more complicated, so I won't show you this one. But we colored the gems, and that was the part that I wanted to show you, the shiny rhinestones that I just colored with a cherry cobbler blend. Um, so when you color blends, or color gems with your blends, I'm going to use iridescent pearls this time. I love these. I think these are so pretty. You want to take the paintbrush end of your blend, and you don't want to push down really hard because that will cause your tip to separate, and it'll look not very good, and it won't color as much as well. So kind of go on the side and just take your Stampin' Blend and color your gems. And I think that I'm going to use maybe two bigs and a small. And that will dry the alcohol blend, the alcohol, the Stampin' Blends are alcohol based so they dry very quickly. You could also use a regular marker but it would take about three years to dry so you probably don't want to do that. And then you just put your gems on your project. We could have easily done this with Cherry Cobbler or my other projects. We could have used Lost Lagoon blends and I didn't like how it fit on my card base, so I'm going to show you this one. Magic of TV. All right. So you've got your colored blends that are the Mossy Meadow. We use the Cherry Cobbler ink here with the ribbon. You could, uh, you can also color this ribbon. It's beautiful colored with an with a blending brush, or you can use a marker. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then the inside of my card is actually just just plain for this one. So this this blah, my my brain is working faster than my mouth today. So these were the four cards from my Cardsierge card club. Two, three, and the fourth one was the sympathy card. So we took the two papers and the card bases, and everyone made two of each of these. So each month, let me move these down so you can actually see them all. I'm not sure I can get all four of them in my in my picture. There we go. There we go. Um, so each month, my Card Search Cards Club meets once a month. If you aren't local and you live in Seattle, Washington, or you live in Portland, Maine, and you want to be in Card Club, that is great. It we meet in person in St. Louis. Um, the, the night depends on my lady's availability. And then the following week, I send you the projects. I send you all the card bases. So in the mail for this month, my ladies get all the pieces. Then, and the, and the designer series paper and the embellishment of the month. Um, and that comes in your special packet. And each month you do you get the tutorial, you get an emailed picture and emailed directions of all the projects. So the ladies this month got all the pictures of these projects um, emailed to them. And then if you don't want to make it right that minute, you can come back to it later and you can make all the projects. Um, it's thirty nine fifty a month each month and that is charged via PayPal. So it's like a subscription. Um, and then each month it's charged and if you you're, there's no obligation to stay on um, for a whole year, like my old club model. Um, after six months, you would get to choose $25 for free. I do let you choose that. You get to keep, um, actually this was the sixth month this time, so my ladies were choosing their six month free um, products. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to post the link for my Card Search Card Club so you can check that out and you can look at it and see see what goes on, um, and if it's something that you're interested in um, and have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I will be live next week, and I don't know the date, um, but I believe I'm going I'm going to go back to once a week. Um, this was my short burst of um, my Viva Mexico 
earn the incentive trip Facebook lives and I am almost there I am skidding in on two wheels um, today's the 28th and the final day to enter or to order to order to qualify is September 30th so I am screaming around the corner on two wheels but I thank all of you for your help and your purchases um, if you have any last-minute purchases before the end of the Stampin' Up! year happens on Saturday, um, I will include the shopping link on my, on my post. Um, and I will see you all back next week for a live lunch with Lori. Thanks. Have a great day.